Hello and welcome back to my channel, Miami Star Tarot. Today I am going to do a reading for Virgos. This is not any type of specific reading. I'm just going to read whatever tarot, whatever message tarot is giving for um, this video. I'm going to shuffle the cards for Virgo and see what tarot wants to say, what messages tarot has for Virgos. I'm not um, putting a date on this. Ooh, there's a little blockage there. I'm not putting a date on it. Is This video is just going to be good for whenever you um, you see it. Okay, Virgo. So let's see what messages Tarot has for Virgo. One more good shuffle. And we'll see what we have for Virgo. say to Virgo, what information, what messages are here for Virgo. Oops. I'm going to take that one. Okay, slow message. Okay. I think I've gotten this card for every single sign that I've done the reading for. All right, Virgo. Changes in the hanged man. All right, new perspective in life for Virgos. All right, so what I'm seeing right here, right off the bat, you have the hanged man, which is your underlying energy, new way of looking at things. Okay, self-reflection, new approach, road not taken, trying to figure out how to do something. Not a lot of action, but a lot of thinking, okay? Well, and, you know, sometimes thinking can be action, but there, it's, you're not putting forward anything yet. You're just thinking, taking time. You also have the death card, and you also have the fool as a major arcana. There are quite a few messages going on here, Virgo. It's kind of interesting here. So you obviously feel that you need to take charge of your life and move forward in a different way. I think that you are in a, in, a, in a place mentally right now in your life where you're trying to decide what to do, which way to go. Um, I'm seeing love, obviously, okay? I am definitely seeing love. Um, it's a love reading. Um, I don't think that you are exactly um, in love right now with anybody in particular. However, you do have the three of, um, of swords here. So your heart has been broken, okay? And I think that broken heart is a huge part of your life right now, okay? It's also a part of your life that you need to let go of, okay? And I will get more to it when I get to that part, okay? So I feel like you're a very slow moving person as far when it comes to relationships and love and expression. Okay, you have the page of pentacles. You may want to deliver a message to somebody. Um, if you're a female or male, it doesn't matter. Um, and I'm saying that because you have the king of pentacles here. I don't think Virgo that you are the kind of person that likes to have flings. And it doesn't look like there are some flings coming your way either. So that's not what I'm trying to say. You're just, you're a person that likes to be comfortable in your relationship. You value commitment and you really, really value a certain level of old fashioned, traditional type of values in, in a relationship. And in a mate, it is very important for you that this person not only is well-rounded, um, successful, not necessarily wealthy, but just a person that has goals in life, a career, and they they can take care of themselves. I think that's very important to you. Um, the King of Pentacles is a very fatherly figure. They can be 
very loving. They, it, it's basically a very fatherly, very devoted husband type of energy. And I think that that's what you want in your life. If you're female, that's what you want from a male. If you're a male, it's what you want from a female. You want to be the king of pentacles. You want to be the husband. You want to be a provider. And I think it's very important to you. Like these, There's something to say about old-fashioned roles in your life um, as, far as, you, as far as like being in a relationship. And I think it's so important to you. And I think it's what drives you, I think, towards somebody. Okay? I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but... And I don't typically like look at cards this deeply, but for some reason this card is really calling out to me, Virgo. You can see that the King of Pentacles is wearing some beautiful robes, very similar to the, um, the Emperor, okay? So if you look carefully at this card, it's just calling out to me right now. He's got the Pentacle on his lap. Where is it? Right here. He's got a scepter on his other hand, very important to him. But if you can also check out the fact that he's got a suit of armor under those rich robes, okay? He, he's a very wealthy king. He knows what he wants out of life. He's very dependable, um, very, uh, you know, family-oriented. But he does wear that suit of armor underneath, and sometimes that suit of armor can be a little rigid. And being a little rigid sometimes doesn't get you very far, okay? So it looks to me like there are times that this king of pentacles at this time, which is you or your partner, Virgo, is going to have to let go of some of that rigid attitude, okay? And that's kind of where I'm getting to. And that's, I think that's why you have like this, the, the approach to life, the approach to love, okay? You're going to have to be a little less rigid and let go a little bit. You also have the death card. The death card means changes, like things have died, things need to be reborn. You need to put some things to rest and you need to decide. And I, you know what? The fact that you're in the hanged man mode in your life is great because it shows me that you're kind of recognizing these things, Virgo, about yourself that need to change, okay? Death in tarot is not a bad thing. It provides opportunity. So because you're on the hangman mode, this is perfect for you to see right here, this energy. It's what you need to do. So if you're looking for a new approach, you're looking how to make things better for yourself, good for you, look outside the box, make some changes, stop being so rigid. Virgo, okay? Stop being so strict and quit overanalyzing everything and wanting things to be perfectly the way you want them to be. I'm not saying that's every Virgo out there, but in this read, in this case, I think it's talking to those Virgos out there that have the tendency to be that way. All right, I'm also down here seeing that when it comes to love, I think you've been heartbroken, obviously, by this Three of Swords, and I feel like you're not willing to open up yet. You're not in a place where you want to open up because inside, I think you are still, you're not over what has happened, okay? It looks like you have ended a relationship or you got out of a relationship somehow where it left you very wounded, I think. some kind of, It's not over yet in your mind, okay? So I think you're very heartbroken still. And as much as you want to open yourself up sometimes, I feel like you, you're having a hard time with that approach, how to approach that, how to do that. And I feel like you really fear of being disappointed and having your heart broken again, okay? It's a fear-based thing and not actually not knowing how to approach it. I also feel, I get very strongly from this message that you just feel like everyone's going to disappoint you. And once you get to know somebody that, they, that they're just going to be a disappointment. And I, I'm thinking that you're almost finding it a waste of time. However, I feel like you really have that need to be with somebody and you don't, you, you want to get married, you want to have a family, you want to be with someone and share your life with them and be happy, share your successes and all that. It's just a matter of, I think just, it's very fear-based. 
But I think that you're in a good place right now with this hanged man because you're really looking and reflecting on what you need to do. Here you have the um, move, moving into delivering a message, um, declaring feelings. I don't think you're ready to do that. I feel like you're still kind of wounded from your previous relationship and what happened. I think in order for you to open yourself up, it's fool's not a bad card in tarot. I don't know why they call it the fool. It, it, I think it's just because it's an innocent. Now, there is a sort of innocent air about you. I don't think that, you know, you have this king of pentacles sort of attitude toward the way you, you approach relationships and what you want. Um, and again, you know, that suit of armor under there, you need to be less rigid, okay? I feel like by doing that, that you're going to allow your heart um, to explore things that you've never explored before. And it's going to allow you to just let go of some of the feelings that you have. And you need, you do, you need to let go of some of these feelings that you have about your previous relationship in order for you to approach a new relationship with, um, on a clean slate. Like you, you want this person to start a relationship with you on a clean slate. You don't want to impose on them your feelings about your previous relationship too. And I think this King of Pentacles is saying is for you to be a fool, which is a good thing and approach something with an open heart that you need to let go of some of those things that keep you um, bound to that chair and that rigidness that you sometimes approach life with. And the death card, you need to move away from this broken heart and let go and begin a new journey for yourself in love, okay? And through that, it's the Fool card and letting go of letting go of these feelings that sometimes I think it's hard for you to, to put away, okay? But I am seeing that there is opportunity for you. This King of Pentacles is not a bad thing, but since you are in the hanged man position, I feel this is very appropriate for you to hear right at the time right now. Okay, Virgo, that is all I have for you right now. And please uh, give me a like, comment. I would love to hear some feedback and subscribe to my channel so you can hear some more. Um, otherwise, that is all I have for you, Virgo. Uh, thank you for visiting my channel. My name is Bye-bye, Virgos.